So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a Pearson correlation between two variables. So I'm going to select an XY type of table. For the X, I'm going to select numbers. And for the Y, I want to enter and put a single Y value for each point. Now click the Create button. So for this example, I've made up some data. What I'm interested in is the correlation between age in years of a group of people and cholesterol levels in the blood. So for the X values, I'm going to plot age in years. And then the Y, I'm going to plot cholesterol levels. I'm just going to paste in some data that I've made up. Now to perform the analysis, you go to Analyze. And then under the XY analyses, you want to select Correlation. On the right-hand window, it will only display the Y data sets, not the X, but don't worry. So click OK. So then the Perimeters window will now open. So if you had multiple Y data sets, in this case we don't, but if you did, you can actually compute R for every pair of Y data sets. So that would be a correlation matrix. To do the Pearson test that we're going to do uh, in this example, we're going to compute R for X versus every Y data set. And then if, again, if you add multiple data sets, you can actually specify which ones you want to include in the analysis. So in our example, we're going to compute R for X versus every Y data set. Under the header where it says assume data are sampled from Gaussian distribution. This is saying, is your data normally distributed? In this example, I'm going to say, yes, it is. So we're going to compute a Pearson correlation coefficient. If your data wasn't, you would specify no. And that way, it would do a non-parametric version called a Spearman correlation. So we're going to click yes here. For the test itself, I'm going to do a two-tailed test. I'm going to leave it at 95% confidence intervals. And then for the reporting, I'm going to choose APA again. And then to run the test, just click OK. So this is the results for the Pearson correlation. So at the top, you can see this is Pearson's correlation between age versus cholesterol levels. And then these are the Pearson results. So the first one here, you've got the R value. So the R value is the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient values range from zero, meaning no correlation whatsoever, to plus one, which would be a perfectly positive correlation, and also to negative one, which would be a perfectly negative correlation. So 0 0.40 is quite a modest correlation, actually, positive correlation. The next results, we have the 95% confidence intervals for the R value. And you've also got your R squared. So the R squared is a value between zero and one. And what this is, is a value to say how much of the variation of X is explained by Y and vice versa. So if you take this as a percentage, this would be 16%. So 16% of the age can be explained by cholesterol levels. So that's not a lot really. The other percentage would be unexplained or unaccounted for. Next, you've got your results for the, for the test itself. So You've got the p-value here, which is 0 0.079. So if you set your alpha value as 0 0.05, this test is not significant. This is summed up in the p-value summary, so not significant. And also it's saying that there is no significance. And finally, you've got the number of xy pairs in the analysis. So this is how many data points have you got. So you've got 20 sets of data. So that is how you perform a Pearson correlation between two variables in GraphPad.